Okay, in this video we are demonstrating how to perform a test for the difference between two proportions. It's a z-test and we have the following example stated here. It states for a chain of sports bars in the Alley County region, a manager is testing the claim that the proportion of patrons who go to the bar to watch football is different than the proportion of patrons who go to the bar to watch soccer. Test the manager's claim, alpha is 0.05. So we're given this information. We have to state the claim. We're testing the difference between two proportions. So we have P1, the proportion of people who go to the bar to watch football is not equal to P2, the proportion of people who go to the bar to watch soccer. That's our claim. H0 is that P1 is equal to P2. We have to first calculate the sample proportion of people who go to the bar to watch football. That's X1 over N1, so 44 over 80. 44 over 80 is 0.55. Then we calculate the second sample proportion for those people who go to the bar to watch soccer. 24 over 60 is 0.4. Next we have to compute the weighted proportion which is denoted as P bar. So we add the two X's, so 44 plus 24, 68. We add the two sample sizes, 80 plus 60 is 120 divide to get 0.486. We then calculate Q bar. It's 1 minus P bar. So 1 minus 0.486 is 0.514. We then plug this information into our key formula. And I'll demonstrate how to calculate the value using a scientific calculator. So first step is we want to type in the difference of the popu of the sample proportions. So 0.55 minus 0 0.40. Now we do have the difference between two population proportions. That's zero, so I don't type that into this version of the formula when, we're, when I'm using the calculator. Now we have to divide by the square root. So we take the square root and uh, we have 0.486 all inside the square root times 0.514 times what inside the square root you use parentheses. So 1 divided by 80 plus 1 divided by 60. Close the parentheses, hit enter, and we end up with our value 1.75 which rounds to 1.76. We now have to make our decision. It's a two-tailed test, so we look up the critical values of an alpha is 0.05. two tails, 0 0.05, go all the way down to get the Z values. It's a Z test, 1.96, so the critical values are negative 1.96, positive 1.96. 1.76 falls in the non-critical region. We do not reject a null hypothesis, and therefore when we summarize, we state there is not enough evidence to support the claim. Thanks for watching the video.